Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Dayton, Ohio, where a, uh, well, fairly new frauditor has decided that he's going to take it upon himself to do the most disgusting thing he can possibly think of and go do a school on it. However, the good thing is that it doesn't really work out too well for him, and he gets, well, booted from the area, but threatens to go audit more schools. What the hell, dude? What is your damn problem? But at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and, well, try not to destroy your computer in the process of watching this uh, real dumbass doing what he does. Looks like here's the actual school. They got two officers here ready for me. Set my Dr. Pepper in my pants. Well, well, dude, uh, you did call the uh, superintendent and tell her exactly what you were going to do. And, well, as a response, she sent the police over there to intercept you. Well, good on her for protecting the students and shame on you for even attempting this to begin with. And not to mention the fact that you even called ahead to do this uh, shows that you have no strategic thinking whatsoever because if you had not called and just walked up and waited for the door to be opened like a lot of frauditors do, then you would have been able to uh, get as much conflict as you could. But hey, nobody ever said you had to be smart to be a frauditor. In fact, it really benefits you if you are a complete dumbass at times. It is a pu this is a public school, right? It is a public school, but there are laws dictating who can be in and out of the school during school times. So you are free. You're free to go into the lobby. You're free to interact with any of the staff that you want to um, in the lobby. But if they tell you, like, hey, this is a restricted area, yeah, you can't go past that. I can't go past the restricted area, but but for it to be a restricted area, it has to be labeled so, right? Well, or you have to be informed so. So they can just it, label it any hallway that they want a restricted area. Well, I'll tell you, any area of the school except for the, the lobby there is going to be considered restricted without some sort of prior permission from the school district. So, like, I mean, you're free to go in the lobby, but that's as far as you're going to be able to go. I'm free to go in the lobby, but that's as far as I'm going to be able to go. Yeah, you'll find, I mean, all the doors and everything will be locked from there. So, like, anything that isn't locked, you're good, but anything that is locked, is, you're not going to be allowed to go in Okay. How do I get in the lobby? How do I get in the lobby? Oh, looks like they don't want you in there, you creep. Yeah, I wonder why. I mean, you just announced your presence as if you think you own the place and that you're going to do an audit on them. Yeah, uh, I, it's no wonder that they lock the doors on your sorry ass. Now, now the question is, will this idiotic frauditor be able to make it at least into the lobby? Let's stick around and find out what this idiot has to offer. Is there a button I must press? Oh, huh. looks like they've locked their doors. Could you assist me in gaining entry to the lobby because they got the doors locked? Where's the buzzer at? I didn't see it. I didn't see the buzzer. Huh? I don't think this is it. No, that's not the buzzer. I don't see any buzzer. There should be a buzzer. There should be. I don't know why there's not.
Thanks, man. I don't see a buzzer on there, man. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I, I'm not going to let you in those doors. Like, well, I think I think if it's a public building and it's open to the public, yeah, like you're you're kind of required to uh, give me some assistance. I'm a. It's not my building. It's a school district. Yeah, but your your job is to. Hey, listen, asshat. I work as a paraprofessional for uh, a school board, and I know for a fact that you can't get into a lot of these schools without proper authorization from the people inside because, well, the number one goal of every school is to protect the children. And if they see a threat like you, well, they're going to keep that threat out, numbnuts. Your job is to render aid, right? You don't need aid getting in there. You can knock on the door or you can call any of the people you've called before. Okay, I'll, I'll make a phone call. Is your body camera rolling? It is. Just... These officers here said that there's some sort of buzzer on the door, probably. There's not. There's not a buzzer on the door that allows me entry into this building. So we'll see if they allow me entry. Hello, ma'am. You're the principal? Okay, perfect. I, I spoke to the superintendent. They said I could come in into the lobby. Not right now. We're we're getting um, them dismissed at this point. So you're denying me entry into the lobby after the superintendent said that I was allowed? Oh, now you're just lying your ass off right now, dude. Uh, here's the recording that, well, he himself posted on YouTube about this whole thing. And you'll note that the superintendent never really granted him permission to go in there with the video camera and film everything in there. So, yeah, this guy is a total liar. Yeah, who am I speaking to? This is Laura Blessing. I'm the superintendent. Perfect. Yeah. How's it going? Good. Who am I speaking with? I don't wish to disclose that. Okay. So, do you have questions? Yeah, I'm on my way up to Bower Elementary right now to do some recording. Uh, of what? The publicly accessible areas. And, and, and what, what are those? The school in and of itself. Um, so the exterior? Am I not allowed on the inside like a normal visitor? No, you are not. Why? Wait, our buildings are, are locked down. They, you have, the only way you can get inside is is if you um, request access. So you're denying me access to the elementary school? Um, unless you can tell me the, the reason for your business. I did tell you I'm conducting official business. Sir, we, we can't, we have to, be, we have, all visitors have to check in. They have to, um, you know, disclose their purpose for being there. I don't answer any questions. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm on my way up to the school right now. Um, you're, te you're telling me that I'm not allowed to go on the inside of the school, correct? Yes, I am. Okay, and uh, who do I speak to that's above you, or who who do I who do I get in contact with to let them know like, hey, you're you're trying to den deny me access to what's open to the public, and until you until I've been because it, it, to the best of my knowledge, unless if I'm trespassed, I'm allowed to be there. And I mean, you're happy to speak to our school resource officer. Um, I mean, he'll be there when you arrive at Bauer. Um, he can talk to you outside. Um, but, sir, these are our visitor protocols to keep, keep our students safe. Um, and we, we do not allow anyone to come in our building and record or take pictures. So I can't even come into the lobby? Correct. Um, the lobby, I mean, our building is, is um, all, we have secure entrances, entrances and secure vestibules. But um, they... They, they do stay probably right on the front door that visitors must, you know what I mean? Correct. So, yeah. I, so, I'm, yeah. a, so I'm a visitor. Yeah. So, state I'm, their intentions. so I'm a visitor. And I did state my intention. Well, well all, all you did is say you want to come in the lobby. And record. Um, okay, but sir, we don't allow that. Is that a policy that you guys have? We have a 
policy they don't allow recording of our students in our school there will be students that you can see um, coming into the building if you walk into our vestibule um, we have students that walk in so yeah you can enter the lobby but you they're not going to let you in sir unless you show your id and state your business so i am allowed into the lobby now you said i can't come in to the lobby you, you may enter the building um through the lobby but that's as far as you're going to get so you are granting me permission to access the lobby yeah, I mean, if the the unless the building, um, sometimes they have you buzz in, and sometimes you just walk in, and then you have to buzz in from there. Okay, perfect. So I, I just w want to inform you that, that with your permission now, I'm going to be going into the lobby of the school. I'm on my way up to the school, and I guess we'll have a meet or a, a discussion with the the school resource officer, as you wish, uh, and we'll see how you guys decide to treat me on public property. Okay. So why aren't you going to let me into the lobby? Do you have a specific appointment or anything like that in, in regards to a student that attends here? I don't think I need one. This is a school building, so if, if you would like but to it's be a on public, public building. it is not a public entity, not a school. Yes, it is. It is a public you entity. You can discuss that with Dr. Blessing. I did speak to Dr. Blessing, and she said that I could come into the lobby. Well, after listening to the recording, that's not exactly what she said, and you damn well know that. You're just trying to well spin your own narrative out of this whole thing and you know what it's not exactly going to work so why don't we just go ahead and skip on ahead to the part where you are completely denied entry into the building and then we'll just leave it at that because we don't want to sit here for 20 minutes waiting on that now do we 15 minutes later look they put they put things up over the windows Oh, shit. Well, of course, you smooth brain dill hole. Uh, the teacher's obligation is to protect the students. And in fact, in my own journey to get certified as a teacher in the state of Florida, we had to go through ethics training. And one of the first obligations as a teacher in the state of Florida is to make a reasonable effort to protect the students students you numb nuts and i'm sure that's the same in every freaking state in the union and guess what the teachers take that code of conduct very seriously and if that means keeping ass hats and assholes like you out of the damn building well that's what it's going to take and that's what they are going to do So this is what their this is their precautionary measure for this. Why are you guys acting like this? Why why are you guys acting like this over a peaceful person? It's very concerning. Very, very concerning. Well, to me, it is very, very concerning that some asshat like you doesn't understand that the teachers do have an obligation to protect the students at all costs you freaking jackass so why don't you make like a tree and leave i mean you're uh, contributing nothing you just want to be a nuisance so why don't you go somewhere else and actually do something productive oh wait you're a frauditor you're not gonna do anything productive that's not in your uh, code of ethics right there you want to be a hindrance on everybody
Well, look at this uh, reflection in the glass right here. Uh, it looks like he's taking great pleasure in what he's doing right here. Well, yeah, go ahead and laugh all you want, buddy, because, well, I will be emailing the principal of this school using my own uh, email from my school district. So that way, this principal knows that I am legitimate. So you can kiss this channel goodbye, because I am going to do this out of a professional courtesy between uh, my school district and, well, their school district. So which means I'm going to be attempting to fi uh, fulfill my obligation to any students out there. So yeah, go ahead. Laugh it up and lose your channel. Can I can I come in? Why not? I'm sorry. If you step inside this building, you'll be arrested. For what? I've never been trespassed. I'm advising you right now that you're not permitted in this building. You're not behind any door that's locked. And if you do, you will be arrested for trespassing. Okay? So. Do you understand that? So. Do you understand the words that I just said to you? That if you come in here through a door that's locked, that I'm telling you not to come through. This door's open you will right be now. This door's. I'm telling you, you're not to come in here or you will be arrested. Do you understand? What was. It? Yes or no? Do you understand me? Do I have to answer that? You don't have to answer anything. I don't think but I do you either. You have to step to the side so they can get the kids in here. I can step to the side for you. Thank you. I, I wasn't obstructing the entrance, I don't believe. They got kids getting off the bus going into the school. I have no intentions of recording the children, my man. That's not my goal. I even I made that well aware with the superintendent. Dude, it doesn't really matter at this point. You are not exactly being a helpful influence on this school. In fact, they want you gone. But, well, you're a frauditor. You don't know any better. You think you know everything, especially about trespassing. Well, dude, I'm about to tell you, in Ohio, in, uh, just like in every state, you can be trespassed off of public property and private property. So you might as well get that out of your head, too, because, well, it is just flat out wrong. And you know it, right? I, at least I hope you know it. Or are you too dumb to go out, go look up the Ohio laws on trespassing because they're readily available? Oh, wait. After the, watching your video in full length, I realized that you are a complete moron. You never bothered to look them up. The only, the only intentions I have are record the publicly accessible areas. So, you guys are doing parent-teacher conferences and stuff, but it's not, it's not open to the public. You guys are allowing other members of the public, except for me. If you'd step out, supervisor, if you'd, you're not going to talk to me. My friend, we have nothing else to say to each other. Well, you just threatened arrest. If you come in here, yes. But without violating any law. I'm telling you, if you step in here, you will be arrested. For a trespass. So you do understand what I said earlier. You, you, you said you were going to arrest me for trespass. If you step in here, But yes. trespass is only... You can only trespass somebody Listen, for breaking a law. You, you, you can only trespass here, somebody for breaking a law. You do understand that if you step in here, you will go to jail, don't you? You do understand you can't trespass me for not breaking a law. I'm telling you that if you step in here, you'll be breaking the law. How so? By stepping in here when I've told you not to. This is not a public area. You do not have access to this area. I am telling you. So what about the lobby? You, I'm warning you that if you step in here. So right what about the lobby? Please step back so they can come through here, please. Thank you. You guys have another stool right here, right? About a mile and a half. Two of them, right? The elementary over here and the high school. So if I walk over there, are you guys going to deny me entry? You're not going to talk to me, huh? Well, I can tell you this, dude. I will be sending an email to the principal here 
fairly shortly and well explaining all that they need to know to bring your channel down as far as well bringing a few videos down so that you may end up thinking twice about uh, going up to a school and trying to film everything. Yeah, go ahead and go to a post office. You'll still get kicked out. Go to another government building and you'll still get kicked out for trespass. But when you do a school, that's kind of my domain right there, and I'm obligated to, well, help my fellow school colleagues out. So, yeah, expect that to happen, dude. It's coming soon. But hey, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you playing cereal? Who's that?